Welcome. This is my instructional video for section 3.4, the surface area of a sphere. All right. There we go. Surface area of a sphere, the formula, right? Surface area S is equal to 4 pi times r squared. Well, what feature of this equation indicates that this is an area formula? Well, that's the fact that the radius, which is the only dimensions here, right? Because 4 and pi are just constants, so they have no units or no dimensions on them. Radius will be a dimension, so it'll be inches, feet, centimeters, meters, something like that. And it's being squared, so that means it's two-dimensional. That means it's an area. How would you expect the equation to differ represent the volume of a sphere? Well, that's going to be the radius cubed, then. So the actual volume of sphere, I think it's four-thirds pi r cubed. And that's because to get volume, which is three-dimensional, You'd have to have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, or you could say cubic centimeters. So the radius would have to be to the third power. So the fact that second power, that says maybe that's my area formula. Okay, there's my dynamic lecture done in about a minute, 10 seconds. On to the problems. A spherical water tank is 22 feet in diameter on its outside. The inside diameter is 20 feet. What's the difference between the surface area of the outside of the tank and the surface area of the inside of the tank? Okay, here's the big trick on this one, is we want to do the surface area equals uh, 4 thirds pi r squared, and so we want the radius. So 22 feet's the diameter, so the radius on the outside sphere is going to be half that, which is 11 feet, and the radius on the inside part of the tank is going to be half of 20, which is 10 feet. So on the outside of the tank, we have 4 pi times 11 squared, the inside of the tank, the surface area is 4 pi times uh, 10 squared. So that's going to be 121 times 4 pi and 100 times 4 pi. So there you go, 44 pi and 400 pi. So the difference, 44 pi minus 400 pi, that's going to be 84 pi. Final answer. So a basketball is a sphere with 29.5 inches in circumference. A baseball is a sphere with a circumference of 9 inches. How much material is needed to make each ball, and how does the ratio of these amounts compare to the ratio of their circumferences? That's a sexy question. So the key here is that circumference, right? So what's the formula for circumference? Well, circumference is equal to 2 pi r. screen. So circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So that means if we're going to solve for the radius, which we want to, because well, we need the radius to plug into the surface area equation. So r is going to equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. So So 2 pi r for the basketball equals 29.5. That means r is equal to 29.5 divided by 2 pi. And same for the baseball. 2 pi r equals 9. So we solve for radius that equals 9 over 2 pi. And so the surface area for the basketball is 4 pi times the radius squared. So 29.5 over 2 pi squared. So that's approximately 277. So notice here... Uh, uh, 4, this is going to be 29.5, which is like, uh, that's almost 900, right? Because that's almost 30. So 30 squared is going to be like 900. So this is going to be 2 pi squared, so that's going to be 4 pi squared. So basically you got 4 pi times 29.5 squared, which is roughly 900, divided by 2 pi squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4, times pi squared, which is pi times pi. So the 4s and the pi's are going to cancel. So you're going to get 29 and a half squared, roughly 900, divided by 3. So that's going to be in the neighborhood of 300. So 277, I completely believe that. And same thing is going on over here. So we're going to have 9 squared, so 4 pi here, uh, and 9 squared. And then 2 pi squared is going to be 4 pi squared, which is 4 pi times pi. So again... 
four pi's are going to cancel, so we're going to get 9 squared, 81. 81 divided by 3 would be 27, so this is actually going to be a little bit less than 27. I think that's the final answer there. Okay, so the radio ratio of their circumferences, uh, 29.5 over 9 is a 3.28 to 1 ratio, but the ratios of their surf, uh, surface areas are uh, 277 over 25.8, which is about 10.74 to 1. And notice, I'm suspecting here, I'm going to pull a calculator up. I know I've got a calculator here somewhere. Really? This is not my school computer because I have all that stuff readily available. Here's what I'll do. Okay, back with you. I got my calculator up now. And basically, I'm going to take the 3.28 and I'm going to square that. And I'm thinking that's going to be pretty close to 10.74. Boom! 10.76. So basically, hey, that's what's going on. It is the ratio is the ratio of the the uh, radii squared? I'm oh, sorry. How's that work? Uh, yeah. So this ratio, this ratio here, the circumferences, the surface area is uh, the squared. So since the circumference is in a ratio of about three to one, the surface area is going to be a ratio of uh, three squared, which is about nine to one. So and three point two eight, so squared ten point seven six, close to ten point seven four. There we go. Find the surface area of the composite figure in terms of pi and to the nearest tenth. I don't know if I did to the nearest tenth. I didn't. I won't. So here we go. Surface area. Well, what's going on here? Well, there's like three things going on. There's this top here, which is half of a sphere. And then there's the lateral area. So the lateral area is this right here. So the lateral area of a cylinder. Okay. And then we're going to have the area of the base right here. It's kind of a bullet-shaped uh, object here, so we can break it down into three parts. So the surface area of the sphere, which is going to be, um, well, it's half of a sphere, right? So a sphere is 4 times pi times r squared, right? But we're only going to take half of that. And then we got the base here, the red part. That's going to be the radius is 5, so that's going to be pi times r squared, so pi times 5 squared. And then the lateral area of the cylinder is going to be 2 pi r times the height of the sphere, or the lateral, the cylinder, which is 14. So there's all my numbers. So half of 4 is actually 2. So we have 2 times 5 squared, that's 25, right? So 2 times 25, which is 50 pi. And then 5 squared is 25, times pi is 25 pi. And 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 14 is 140 times the pi is 145, 140 pi. So that's going to be 90. I'm thinking 215 pi. There we go. So, and since that's a little bit more than 3, you're probably talking in the neighborhood of like 330. I'm estimating. So hey, uh, here we go. Turn it on. Clear the previous. 215 second pi decimal approximation 675. Next problem, a similar uh, object, only instead of having the end being flat, we've got a spherical end on this side too. So basically, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this into this half a sphere. You could say hemis hemisphere, right? Hemi means half. And this hemisphere together make a whole sphere. And since the diameter here is 8, the radius is going to be 4. So we're going to have 4 pi times the radius, which is 4 squared. And then we're going to have the lateral area here, which is 2 pi r, so 2 pi times 4, and then times the height of the lateral area of the cylinder, which is 5. I say height, but it's turned sideways. It's from the bottom of the cylinder to the top of the cylinder. That's the distance we call the height. Whichever way the cylinder's turned doesn't matter. So here we go. 4 squared is 16 times 4. That's going to be 64 pi. And then 2 times 4 is 8 times 5, which is 20. I'm sorry, 40 pi. And so 64 and 40 pi sounds like 104 pi to me. 
So we're talking somewhere in the neighborhood at 330, I would uh, estimate. So we're looking at this bad boy here. Clear that. 104 second pi. And 326.7 in the neighborhood. Bam. Find the surface area of the sphere. Leave the answer in terms of pi. Okay, so 16 yards, that's the diameter. So that means the radius is going to be half of that. So the radius is going to be 8. So it should be uh, 4 times uh, pi times 8 squared. So 4 pi times 8 squared, so 64, 4 times 64, we're talking, uh, what's 4 times 64, 16, 256, so 256 pi. There's the exact answer, decimal approximation, probably 780 something maybe in that neighborhood. I think a little bit less than 800. So let's see, we've got 256. Oh, a little over 800, 804.2. All right, find the surface area of the sphere. Leave the answer in terms of pi. Notice it says the area is 81 pi inches squared. And they're pointing to the, not the middle, but they're pointing to the inside of this slice here, which is the equator of the sphere, it looks like. Right? <clears throat> so we're going to assume that. So we're talking this two-dimensional area. And the area form is equal to pi r squared. So pi times r squared is equal to pi times 81. So that means the pi's cancel out. So r squared is 81, so r is actually equal to 9. Should probably take a little more time around the r neatly. Okay. So surface area is going to be 4 pi times 9 squared. So I left the 4 out. Find the surface. This is 4 pi times r squared. Oh, this is the area. Sorry, I was showing that calculation. What I did down here. Okay, so the area of the disk. Pi r squared is 81 pi. So r squared is 81. So r is 9. And surface area is 4 pi times the radius 9 squared. So 81, 4 times 81, I think is 324. So 324 pi. It says leave the answer in terms of pi, so bam, we are done. Yahoo. And that actually was the last problem. This is pretty quick, pretty straightforward lesson. I hope you got something out of the video. If not, uh, it's still kind of a mystery for you. Come in for tutoring. We'll do it interactively and much slower. And we'll see if I can help you figure this stuff out. Other than that, have a good one. Ciao.